I just want to give you this as an entry, so I understand what I mean by entry. So, you're looking at the conflict as starting what called pre-fight. So you switched on, person, you've seen him, he's come towards you, somewhat agitated, you can't leave, you can't de-escalate, mitigate the circumstances, and it's going to go off. Well, <coughs> one person's going first. It's not in your interest to wait for him to go first. So ideally, you want a preemptive strike. Want a good preemptive strike option, particularly if you're not confident with your speed, or if you're somewhat um, not confident if you're going to be telegraphic or not, then you might not throw a linear shot, which would be the best option. Instead of that, you might cover your head and crash in with this kind of spearing elbow. Now, depending on where I hit him in the body, if I hit him in the body, I'm going to disrupt his breathing. If I hit him in the throat, it's a much higher level of force, and if I hit him in the face, it's going to be concussive. But in the main, I'm going to hit him in the body kind of structure, which is just going to put him on a back foot change his physiology from predatory to uh, defensive and reverse the dynamic. So this action of just striking in is very, very useful preemptively. So preemptively, I'll just touch it, which is be you've got a clean heel like so. But where it would also work well is counter-offensively. So if he was to try a big right hand, boom, and hit me in the head with this shot, this structure here allows me to cover from it. So I can use it proactively, driving this in, or I could use it as a reactive thing when he hits me. Either way, the spear and elbow is coming forward with nothing but points and edges impactively hitting the body structure. So Paul it come forward square, nose over toes with this kind of structure, just literally crashing in. From here I'm just gonna latch, latch on, and then I'm gonna knee. Now if I knee and retract, this is what we call broken energy. Right? What I want to do is knee and go through, which is now <laughs> going right through it to take his base out. Right? So this energy here coming back would be broken, and going through would be fluid. So the combination simply is from the end, I crash in, attach in, run off that. Right? So crashing in the spirit elbow. Gaining an attachment and walking through with the knee violently. That's what we do. So you can do this on a solo pad. <coughs> now, <coughs> take a pad, you want impact cultivation. So I'll pull this pad out and I'll screw into it. Then I'll imagine grabbing and then I'll pull my knee and step through. So we're going to do that. Spot in, grab it. So the motion that I'm implementing from here is just to the with the knee this way. It's a really good entry using spiky elbows and pointy knees.